Hello, my name is Gary Sims, and this is Gary Explains. What I have here is an S10 Plus with 12 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage. And what I have here is the Samsung DeX Pad, which allows me to run a Galaxy device in a kind of a desktop mode. So 12 gigabytes of RAM flagship, desktop mode utility. I wonder how they're gonna be together. If you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so the DeX Pad, what it actually does is it allows you to use certain Galaxy devices and run them in a desktop mode. Now, there are different versions of this. There's a DeX Station, there's a DeX Pad, and in fact, for some Galaxy devices, you can actually just use a kind of a USB-C to HDMI converter. Now, I like this device particularly because it allows the phone to lay flat, which means it's good when you want to use it as a touchpad. Of course, you've got the USB-C connection here for connecting it to the whole thing. You've got a ventilation and a fan system here for keeping the phone cool when you're running at the desktop. And here at the end, we've got USB-C for charging, we've got the HDMI port, and we've got two uh, normal USB connectors, which I'm gonna use to connect actually a mouse and a keyboard. Talking of mouse and keyboard, if you are just using a USB-C to HDMI connector, or, or you want to, you can use just a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard, but I'm actually gonna use the USB ones, as I said, here on this device. Okay, let's just go straight, plug it all in, and let's see how it works. Okay, so here we are on the DeX uh, desktop, and it's a familiar experience to anyone that's used a desktop computer. Over here on the left, we kind of have the equivalent of a start button, takes us to our apps, we'll talk more about that in a minute. And over here on the right, kind of the system tray with a clock and various other indicators, like for example, the battery life here and so on. And you can expand that and make it uh, smaller and bigger there. And here in the middle with the list of the icons of apps that are currently running, okay? And there are two there running now. And then there are some desktop icons for a quick, easy access. And of course, a wallpaper. You can change the wallpapers by going to wallpapers and then picking on something else. Okay, so if we go down to the start button here, and here is our normal Android apps that we have installed on this device. And what I'm gonna try and find now is Google Translate. Here it is there. So if you bring up Google Translate, you can see this is an, uh, an app that would normally run on your uh, phone in kind of full screen mode, but here it comes up in kind of a screen sized window. Okay, and it's a fixed size. In this particular case, if you bring the mouse on the edge here, you can't uh, make it bigger or smaller. You can minimize it down to the kind of the icon bar here, or you can close it. That's really the way it works. And you can also rotate it as if you were rotating it on your phone. So many apps come in this kind of standard way, and you can actually run you know, several apps at the same time. So if I run this RAM Truth program, here I've got, again, two apps that would normally run uh, you know, one behind the other, you'd bring one to the foreground, one to the background, but now you can actually run them uh, next to each other. But there are some other apps that actually understand kind of DeX a bit better. Probably they also understand things like Chrome OS a bit better. So for example, here is the clock. And what I wanted to show was that you can resize the clock by kind of dragging here in the corners like you would on a traditional win on a, a desktop. And here on the right is this button to make it full screen. So that is a much more of a flexible app that knows how to run uh, and how to be resized on a DeX uh, desktop. Now having the clock running at full screen isn't probably that useful because it just occupies all the real estate here, but it's really just the same Android app as it always is. But that is different when you use something, let's say like Google Docs. So here I'm starting up Google Docs, and now I get to use this full screen here, uh, and we can actually start to create uh, different, different types of documents using all of the screen space here on this nice monitor, and of course using a keyboard. So I can actually, you know, kind of go into the document here, and I can actually start typing using my keyboard and start using the cursor keys and start editing much similar to you would uh, on a normal desktop computer. So that of course gives us the potential of actually having a kind of a desktop computer uh, based around uh, my smartphone rather than having a separate laptop or a separate desktop and then a smartphone just for what I'm traveling. Actually, maybe I can actually do this now all in one place. Now it's worth also mentioning that not everything will run on uh, the uh, DeX uh, desktop. If I click here, for example, on Subway Surfer, a little message comes up here saying it's designed only for touch. 
so it's not going to work and the same happens also on Temple Run but some games do so if I click here on uh, PUBG this will actually load up and it will allow me to use it here on this desktop. So here I am now inside the game. Now I can try and play it using the on-screen controls using the mouse, but actually you can also use the keyboard. So here I'm using W uh, and uh, S to go backwards, W to go forward, A and D to go strife left and right. And then kind of I can run around like this now, maybe on as you would on a more normal first person shooter, let's say, on a desktop game. However, it is worth noting that I can't resize this. So this is the size I'm gonna get. There's no full screen option here where I can make this all bigger. Now at the beginning I mentioned this is a 12 gigabyte S10 and it is, but what is really interesting is that actually apps when they're running under DeX don't actually use much more memory or any more memory really than when they're running as normally on the smartphone. What the difference of course is how many apps you want running simultaneously. So of course if you do want your browser open with lots and lots of tabs open and then you want YouTube playing and you want kind of you know you're playing a game of solitaire or something and you've got kind of a document that you're doing and the Gmail app and you're switching between them and they're all running simultaneously of course just like in any situation the more RAM you've got the better. But you don't need to have the 12 gigabyte version to get this working okay it will work just as well on the six gigabyte version. Another area where having this full screen could be useful, of course, is on the uh, web browser. And here I've just got a page open in Wikipedia. What I want to draw your attention to is, of course, Wikipedia doesn't know that I'm using DEX. This is still actually giving me the m.wikipedia.org site, the mobile site. So of course it's realizing that I'm using the mobile version of Chrome and you actually have to go over to desktop site here to kind of get the desktop equivalent. So remember this really still is a smartphone and when it connects to services, when it connects to websites, it's still actually using the mobile equivalents because the site or the service doesn't know that you're using something like DeX. Another interesting thing you can use, of course, is YouTube. And so by bringing up the YouTube app here, here we can see is the standard uh, kind of YouTube app. It is also resizable, so I can actually play around with its size a bit. I can make it full screen. And when I start playing a video, the great thing is when I go full screen video, I've now got the whole screen taken up. So this is actually maybe a good way of getting YouTube videos connected to your television if you don't have something like a Chromecast or some kind of uh, smart TV that's got YouTube built into it. You can do it this way using your uh, smartphone and uh, DeX. So that works quite well as well. Now I also want to show you a bit of uh, Linux running here on this. The first of all we're going to do is going to go to this program Termux, which you can run on a normal uh, smartphone, uh, but also when it's here in DeX, of course you get the advantage of the full screen here. So here we are inside of uh, Linux. Now, sorry for the small font for any of you that are watching on uh, smartphones yourselves, but I've got a little C program here called Hello World. I just wanted to show you that I could actually compile it. So if we do gcc hello world.c and now we can run a dot out and now we've actually says hello from Android, which is what this little program does. So here using Termux, we've got this normal kind of way of using uh, Linux uh, on side, inside your smartphone. And because it understands the resizing requirements here of, um, of uh, DeX, then we're able to get a much more full screen experience. And obviously everything you can do therefore in uh, Termux, you can also do inside of uh, DeX here on the desktop. And there is another alternative and that is Linux on DeX. This has been in beta, the beta seems to be closed now. And basically you go through a system of installing uh, this on your smartphone, then you have to download a container, basically a Linux image which it then runs inside of Android and here I've got one downloaded already we're going to hit run on that and what comes up of course is a pretty traditional Ubuntu desktop so there we have it there and I've got a kind of a terminal window open I can open up uh, Chrome here for example that will open up and we can go you know back to Wikipedia again or or and see what comes up there uh, just like, but now because we're actually on a desktop, it's not going to give me the mobile version. It's actually going to give me the full desktop version because it thinks I'm running uh, the Ubuntu desktop. 
Uh, and other things that they include in here, for example, is this OSS, that's the Visual Code, the open source uh, version of uh, Visual Code from Microsoft. So I've got here now a full editor, which I could start doing actual development and then running C, Golang, Rust, Python, whatever here on uh, my actual smartphone inside this uh, Ubuntu desktop. And also there's this interesting place here called uh, uh, Linux on Dex share, which allows me to actually get through to some uh, uh, space that's actually on the Android device. So if we look here to Gary created this as a folder, if we now get out of here, and by the way, to shut this down, you go right up to the right hand corner and then you click here. Do you want to shut this down? Yes, you can also just switch out by going to the taskbar here. If we now go into the file browser, if we scroll down now to the internal storage, we can see this uh, Linux on Dex share, and here's that folder Gary created this. So you're able to transfer files back and forth between the Linux desktop and the uh, Dex desktop, which could also be very useful uh, when you're trying to run this uh, uh, full time. Another thing is if you do right hand click on things, for example, I'm right hand clicking, I can have close, which will close down this whole program. So overall, what do I think about the DEX? Well, I think it's a great idea. It really is fun to use. Having multiple windows open, having that multitasking going on, being able to use a desktop, a big screen with a mouse and a keyboard, but yet all the data and the apps are there from your smartphone. It's a great idea. Being able to use Linux is actually a really good idea. Of course, the DEX pad itself is very good with the cooling and the USB ports and the charging. On paper, that all sounds like a great idea. However, if you were to ask me, Gary, do you want to get rid of your desktop and just switch to using this? I think from the way I use my desktop, the answer for the moment would be no. It doesn't mean in the future it won't be a viable option, but we'll have to see how things develop over the years to come. Okay, my name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.